All right, this is a daily chart of AEPL. Uh, in today's video, I'm going to explain why I think this is really bullish, uh, today's view. But not just because I think it's bullish. Uh, like, I know about the fundamentals, and I've talked about this, and I've made videos in the past in April, but what the charts are saying and how significant this move was. Um, and very, very often, once the uh, prices are unable to break above my uh, trigger up line on um, curving above the prices uh, it's very significant when a stock can can break above it because what my visionary lines do are looking for stocks that are really ready to make strong moves um, and basically my last update uh, that you can find on my profile page was on August the, the 8th and as you can see the market was going down and I was saying how this is setting up that we needed to hold above 90, uh, was it, I think it was 93, and then also 92 and a half. Basically, the stock reversed. Uh, as you can see, the low was 93.28. I think that, yeah, so it, it held all the support levels that I talked about would reverse significantly. And then um, I mentioned, I made a, I made a, I had a chart uh, explaining how the first entry point was 96. And then a strong commission is 97 and how the 95 calls uh september 95 calls uh could uh, double in price well they did today but what i want to explain is uh, you can just check out my profile page for the chart and read the chart about it but what i want to explain is the significance of this uh, trigger up line and how apple was st strongly above it and has been now since patterning since july and august to finally break above it now let's look at this we hit that level and we drop we hit close to it again so we got left once two actually this is this is the second so here it is one two we we bounce back from it three we hit it and then we, we we come back again we hit it again four five and we drop back finally today we close above it on heavy volume now this particular line does not move like a moving average and actually became a resistance to the stock and notice how many times we hit one I, I, we could count this right one two uh three four five five times the the, the apple hit that particular uh, trigger up line and reversed and when we broke above it <clears throat> while a lot of people were looking at 100 to be the magic point i knew that once we had broken 9911 which we already opened up that that was very bullish and so i simply added to my position and i simply made a one little rule because i have my rules i didn't post this but the rule was that the stock has to hold uh at the time 9929 well we never went there i mean they they we, we go to intraday charts right I mean, the stock just, you know, slowly, re and again, more volumes coming in, just kept on going higher, right? So the moral uh, on this time frame, 100 and 175 is very bullish. We break that. But anyways, as long as the stock doesn't, um, it's a significant move. And basically, uh, you know, my targets are short term, 103 to $104 a share. We might get more. But significantly, the option investment that I talked about that you would have been that a person would have entered um, on this day here, you were profitable right out of the gate. It was strictly, it was amazing. I mean, it was beautifully low risk. And at this point, with with, with a short period of time, um, you know, a person is up a hundred percent. In the most safest manner, basically, the stock never went against you. That's how good the entry was and again i had my rules and and it never we never it, it, it wasn't i had rules that we had to let give it some room but it was really a perfect trade and that's bullish in itself so the technicals even though the fundamentals are bullish the technicals are extremely extremely bullish and just for people to under to tell the difference i mean you can see that bbry for example you know we need to really crack above 1062 on a lot of volume strength to really regain its uh you know this um the uptrend sort of uh, you know as you can see you, you can see this is weak kind of like almost a side channel side channel though this stock has been profitable it's not um 
I don't know, it's not the best investment compared to, you know, I went long, long term. As you can see, Apple, as you can see, it's a very linear move. I, I explained how Apple was a very good long term investment, uh, very safe bet. And as you can see, I mean, it's went up significantly straight. It's pretty, it's pretty, like I made these videos uh, back in this time, but it's worked amazing. Anyways, if you like this video, and you've never seen it, uh, you haven't found me, you know, you, you found me through the um, YouTube, you can find me, uh, you can find me at, at um, as Power, uh, called Power Trigger Trade um, on Stock Twits, and just follow me for as I put updates uh, on charts. I don't really make a lot of videos anymore. They're, they're, they're very time consuming, but this video, I just wanted to explain a little bit of my visionary lines and how I use them in conjunction with uh, moving averages. Uh, and time frames. Uh, so you know, um, you know, for me, once we started getting above 98, that was significant. And you can see once we we broke above this particular uh, trigger vision LT line on my two-hour chart, significantly, that was really bullish. I knew that was really good. Um, and of course, we, you know, we've gotten signals. So the earlier signals were in the 96, 97 area here. And once we broke these levels, and we have basically the visionary lines were saying a lot of bullish things about Apple, uh, something that uh, is very unique. Uh, and every time frame is looking really, really good. You got the four hour, right? And you know, yesterday we, we busted above the uh, the uh, trigger up line. It's amazing. It's a significant line. Is this line is measuring something very u unique, unlike moving averages. Uh, but I use them with conjunction with moving averages, and I'm still learning and studying these uh, visionary lines, uh, their their effects. But they're powerful. They're great for for finding stocks like GILT. Is it was it, which one was it? Oh, I can't think of it now. But anyways, um, follow me for more great advice. Uh, again, you know um, that other update I had on Apple uh, stated to get in, and you can find it on my profile page, and I have a very detailed chart. I explained this on August the 8th. I basically gave a very, uh, I would call it a premium stock advice free on my on my, um, my profile, on my stream. Um, something that I, I've done very often that if you can find stocks that can move in a directional move in a short period of time like Apple has, you're able to, you know, easily make 100% gains in options, if not more. Uh, a lot of big time traders and, and a lot of people think, oh yeah, some people think it's easy, but no, it isn't because if you if you buy an option and that option doesn't move, uh, you're losing money, right? But the option that I mentioned in my um, my last update on August the 8th, uh, you can find it on my stream, uh, mentioned how uh, my gave, I, I gave a strategy laid out there. I explained where to buy it, how to buy it, what your support levels were, and basically, a person would have doubled their money, a hundred percent gain, in options. And not everybody knows about options. You know, Dan Zanger is a uh, it has doesn't really know or doesn't do very much options. Uh, there are a lot of great traders that really don't know how to make money in options. And Basically, uh, a stock like Apple did create a 100% return. This move, that for Apple to move, make a $3, $4 move, especially when you're buying it in the money call 95, it did double in value today as we, we, sur we surmounted above 105, and we did it pretty quickly. I mean, it could have took longer. So it looks like if this continues the move like I'm explaining, I mean, I, I had given 100, 100 to 150%, those options might even go to 200% if, if all goes well. I mean, we still have a lot of time, right? Because we're still a month away. <clears throat> so the stock could easily, uh, as long as we don't go below, um, and of course you want to take some profits along the way, but um, as long as we don't go below this 90, uh, th uh, 30 area, we'll say, um, <clears throat> and we, we consolidate in base in this 100 area, and, and we, we should hit that 103, 104 targets, which could create a 200% a gain in the original uh, explanation in my options, especially if that happens within another week or two. I mean, that's even a long period of time, a week or two, but in a week or two, you, if you're holding on to any 95 calls, uh, they, they would probably move to 200%. Thanks for listening. Like the video.